Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Saiful Anwar and my student number is 2122006. I'm from class 8. And I made this video to fulfill the middle test project of statistics in English language research. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the following data here is a set of data of students' English proficiency tests. What we are going to do now is to analyze the data using descriptive statistics, which is measure of central tendency, consists of mean, median, and range, and then also measure of variability of the data, which, which consists of range, interquartile range, variance, and then standard deviation, all right? So before we insert the data here into the table, we have to sort it, sort it first. How to sort it, it's very easy. Just, um, just block the data and then insert, no, block the data and then click sort and filter and then sort from the smallest to the largest. Right. Click it, All right. It's already sorted. And then uh, what you have to do now is just move the data here to wherever you want. Let's just say you're going to uh, move, move it here, All right? Block the data again and then click data and then go to advanced, click OK. Click copy to another location and then click copy to, you know, the arrow here, click it. And then let's just say you want it to move the data into here. Click here and then enter and then click unique records only and then okay. That's it. And then as you can see that there are two fifty-four here, and you only have to uh take one. All right. Now just block the data and then Move the data into the score table. All right. Just copy that and then paste it here. Now the next part is we have to find the frequency of its score. Click equal, type equal, and then type counted. Then click it, you know, the top one. Click it and then block all the data and then semicolon, and then click the first score, which is 54 here. Enter. And then to make it easier, just drag it down. Drag it down. All right, cool. Now we have to find out the value of score times frequency. All you have to do now is just type equal and then click the first score which is 54 and then type the arterisk symbol and then click the first frequency and enter i think it's lagging and drag it down All right, cool. Now, total, totally first. We have to know the total of frequency and the total of X times F. So click equal here, type equal, and then sum, click it, and then plot the total of the frequency and enter. Don't forget to drag it to the right to make it easier. So you don't have to count it manually. All right. So the next part is we have to know the value of X minus mean. As you can see that we got already X here scores, but we haven't got the mean yet. So to find mean is very easy. To find mean is type equal. Firstly, you have to find the mean first, you know? So you can 
do the x minus mean. So find mean. So find out the value of mean equal, type equal, and then click the total value of x times f, click it, and then type slash, and then click the total frequency. Ooh, it's like, yeah, enter. So now we know the mean. All right, Scalianya. We will uh, find the value of median. As you know, the median is the middle, you know, the middle, the middle value of the data. So we got 40 data here. And then the half of the data is 20. Half of 40 is 20, right? So the value of 20 here, the 20th data is 78. Just type 78 here. Type 78, all right? Now we got to know the mode here. All right. The mode is the most frequent score in our data set, which is, as you can see here, in the table of score and frequency, which data has the most frequency? It's 80. Just click 80. All right. Now, let's go back to here. To find the value of x minus mean, type equal, and then click the first score, and then minus, click the mean. In this part, don't forget to add, to add the dollars between the D, all right? Click enter and break it down. All right, now, next step. We have to find down the value of x minus mean square. All right, type equal as usual. And then click the value of x minus mean. And then type uh, the caret symbol. And then type two. Enter. All right, break it down. All right, finally, we have to find out the value of frequency times uh, score minus mean square. All right, type equal. And then click the frequency, and then type uh, the artery symbol, and then click the value of x minus mean square. All right, click it and drag it down as usual. All right. And don't forget to drag the total of each value to the right. Like this. Cool. All right. Now, the next step is we have to find out the value of the range. Range is the distance between minimum and maximum. In this data, the maximum is 96, as you can see. And then the minimum data is 54. All right. Just 96 minus 54 equal 42, All right, cool. And now, in order to find the interquartile range, uh, we need to find the quartile. There are three quartile, quartile one, quartile two, and quartile three. All right, quartile divide an order data for equal parts and refer to the values of the point between the quarters. All right. So, as you know, that quartile two, also the same as the median. So the quartile two is seventy-eight, and the quartile one is just the half value or 
the middle value of quarter two. As you can see that we got 40 data here, and then that means the quarter two is 78. And half of 78, you know, 78 is the 20th data, and half of the 20th data is the 10th and 11th data, which means 66. Now, uh, quarter, for quarter three, it's the same as uh, quarter one. It's also the you know the the half value of quarter two. Quarter two is the twentieth data and twenty one, twenty first data seventy eight, and then the third quarter must be the thirty and the thirty thirty first data, which means. 84. All right, cool. So the interquartile range of this data is 84 minus 66. It's 18. All right, now we have to find a variance next time. So the variance is the average of the squared differences for, from the mean. To find out the value of the variance, it's very easy. Click, or I mean, type equal, and then uh, type uh, type the total value of frequency times x minus mean square, which is this, and then. Uh, minus one, enter, oh, all right, type equal as usual, and then click the total value of frequency times score minus mean square, which is this, and then slash open bracket and then click the total value of frequency and then minus one and close bracket Ta -da. then the last thing is the last part is we have to find out the value of standard deviation all right type equal is usual and then type variance no Type equal and then type SQRT and then click the variance. All right, close bracket. All right. Now, the last part is we have to draw the polygon. That's uh, the last part of this anal anal analysis. All right, block the table of score and frequency, and then go to insert, and then click recommended charts, and then click okay. Just put it wherever you want. Wait, I will make it smaller. So that it can fit, it can fit the table. I'm gonna put it here, all right. That's, yeah, that's it. Um, I think that's enough for today's tutorial. I'm so sorry for my, my, for my mistakes. And see you guys soon. Thank you so much.